Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. In the last episode, it seems like that um vanilla is in heat. And I think someone just left the bakery shop. I think the last customer. But it is nighttime. Okay. Hey, I told you not during work. Oh, it's not closing time yet. Oh. All right, all right. Just a bit, okay? Fully charged. Okie dokie. Thanks, Chocola. Bye. Hmm. Sheesh. What a handful. Yes? Hmm? What is it, Vanilla? <laughs> oh, dog, what does that mean? I can clearly sense the spite in that evaluation. You were watching the whole time, weren't you? Are you sure you had that G look? I wasn't saying you were slacking off or anything. Um... You sure? No, I mean... What? Never mind. It was obvious that she was staring at me the whole time. Yeah! Was this some sort of new rebellious phase of hers? Oh no, the rebellious phase. I'm not sure cat girls even have rebellious phases though. Oh. Never mind. Anyways, the total sales for today is... Vanilla headed towards the register, paying me no heed. Hmm? Uh, Vanilla? Um... Hmm? Oh, she is definitely in heat. Are you trying to blow down this bakery shop? Um, vanilla? Why is that the first thing they always think of? Why am I pushing my back against them? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're the one who's pressed against me. Yeah. Vanilla tilted her head with a perplexed look on her face. I've seen this reaction before. Mm hmm. It seemed similar to something that had just happened yesterday. Vanilla, could it be that you're. Okay. Chocolate is taking it out right now. Oh, yeah, she is. Hmm. This was how Chocolate behaved yesterday. Could it be Vanilla is in heat? Really? You couldn't have figured it out earlier this day? The two of them were twins. It wouldn't be strange if they were going through the same stage. Oh, that why you asked her the other day? 
or, or the other episode. Hmm. That makes more sense now. I thought it was just out of the blue. It isn't at the same level as Chakla was yesterday, though. In any case, I'll just observe what she does a bit longer. Huh. Why? To see how weird it gets. Oh wow. Great job. Yeah. Oh. Alright, you did well. Pat Pat. Uh oh. Okay. Zoom. Chakla is as energetic as ever. Yeah, she's very energetic. That's definitely true. Hmm. Um, are you alright, Vanilla? You're in heat. Well, like, how are you feeling? All green? Hmm. I see. Then that's good. Yep. Well, she seemed the same as usual. Chocolate would get visibly dizzy when she was in heat. So I guess Vanilla wasn't in heat after all. Or just really good at hiding it. I'll be done cleaning up the kitchen shortly. Vanilla, go and help Chocola. Thank you. Uh, that's not helping Chocola. Hmm? Vanilla? Um, uh, hey, Vanilla. She came up and embraced me from the front, and rubbed her cheek up against mine, speaking in a sweet voice. Uh, hey, Vanilla, calm down, okay? Uh, what? That's what he said the other time. No, 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 enough of that. What? No. When you were studying for the bell exam, I saw an actual Fleming face. Besides, you're the one that said that it wasn't good for your health to hold your urges in while in heat. But, it, being in heat is like a, like a physiological thing for cats, and apparently cat girls. It's not something to be embarrassed about. Yeah, I argued with Vanilla. Was being in heat something to be embarrassed about? I didn't think cat girls felt shame though. Yeah, since they are honest all the time, right? Whoa, that's a scary stare. Ah, Chakla. <laughs> oh? Oh my, what's Chocolate doing? Hmm. 
Chocolate's lips and tongue crept along the nape of Vanilla's neck. With each wet, sticky sound, Vanilla's body twitched. <laughs> yeah, Vanilla is enjoying this, it seems. Hey, Chocola! It is? Okay? Mm-hmm. You're not good at hiding that, Vanilla. Ooh, busted. She is? Oh, yeah. At a loss for words, Vanilla cast her eyes downwards. She blushed, breathing in shallow, quick breaths. She was gripping her shoulders as if she were trying to hold something back. Vanilla, is she right? As her owner, I asked Vanilla once more. She looked at me with troubled, upturned eyes. She answered me hesitantly. Aww. By bowing her head very slightly. So you really were, after all. I did feel it was rather strange. But if that was the case, then Vanilla really does need to be relieved. Vanilla's health will be affected if I don't do something. Well, that's true, right? That's what Vanilla said. So that meant I'd have to do the same to her as I did with Chocola. No, 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 no. Even if I am her owner, that wouldn't be the way to. <gasps> Are you sure? Yeah, you did say that. Oh my. You're <sighs> ready like this? I suddenly gulped. I was unable to find the right word to say. I was entranced by the two cat girls in front of my eyes. How long has she been holding out? Really? Oh my. <gasps> She's lying now. I thought she always told the truth. Ooh. <laughs> hmm? She looked over at me, hoping I'd cut in and rescue her. <laughs> Hmm. 
Is it? Will I make it worse for you? We will find out in the next episode, everybody, what's going to happen with Vanilla. Is she really lying and making it worse for her? If she is, then that is a no-no. It's a no. It's not a good thing. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!